Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Steam Monster Sale. The monster is important. More to the point, it's also the Encore. So, this means, of course, that all of the games are available at the time of recording for about 48 more hours, which means that if you want to go ahead and buy something, now's your chance. Um, there are so many games here, I'm not going to be able to go through all of them. I am going to primarily focus on the good deals. I'm going to be giving the prices in US dollar prices. If I don't read out a game, it's not because I think the game's necessarily crap. It's either because I don't know enough about it to comment, or because I'm a twit and I skipped over it just mentally because there are so many bloody games here. With that said, we're going to start. This is probably going to be a long one, and yes, that is what she said. But, we're going to try. So, Sunless Sea. This is actually a really good deal. 40% off, 11.39. The best way of describing this game would be FTL, but on the sea. This is one of those harsh games. It is kind of a roguelite in some respects. Effectively speaking, you are taking control of a crew and exploring various islands and so on. Um... Yeah, your crew could basically perish because you don't have enough resources. You can be, you know, attacked and whatever else. You can basically resort to cannibalism. So if you've ever wanted that type of FTL or that type of roguelite experience, but in a very different environment from the usual traditional space locations, go ahead. The Forest. This is a very good game from what I'm hearing. Uh, Amata is actually going to be purchasing this herself. It's in Early Access. It's a horror title. It scores very well. I haven't played it personally, but for the price, you could well check it out. Grand Theft Auto, I don't think I need to describe this one. All of the games are on sale. If I'm totally honest, yes, Rockstar did piss me off just a little bit with their stance on mods, with the whole banning situation. I think that at the beginning there should have been more clarification. But aside from that, it's an absolutely fantastic uh, iteration. No qualms recommending it at all. The PC version, GTA 5. The earlier versions also are pretty solid as well. Civilization franchise, I'm not going to read out all of them. There's 50% off. Very solid uh, strategy title. Stealth Park, that's just the stick of truth. 40% off. I have seen it cheaper than that, quite frankly. It's a pretty good game. Um, if you're... Basically, here's my recommendation. If you're interested in South Park and that humour, I don't think I need to describe that any further, then this is the game for you. Batman franchise. I'm going to say, by the way, any other recommendations, I am not getting paid. This is just me saying it because I'm trying to save money. I have to say that because otherwise I'm going to get someone saying, you're just saying that so you get money off. No, it's not. Batman, I would recommend do not buy it from Steam. Instead, I would recommend you go to uh, Green Man Gaming. Green Man Gaming, they have a code which is valid for a couple more days um, where you can get 25% off. For what it's worth, that's how I'm going to be buying my version of Batman, um, which is the latest iteration. And the older franchise are also money off as well. So you can also, I don't know what the percentage is, I think it's about 350 for the oldest Batmans, but you can still use the 25% off on that as well. XCOM franchise, very solid, very solid strategy title. I must say, no qualms recommending the XCOM franchise. Um, I've got to say that uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, um, as well as the Bureau Declassified and so on, they, I was pleased. I'd never played an XCOM before. I'm probably going to get blasted by that. But, I mean, you can get XCOM Enemy Unknown for, like, 374 That's great British pound prices. Prison Architect. It pretty much is what you say on the tin. You're building a prison, you're controlling a prison, and that's pretty much it. If if you like those building sims, and it's a very solid game, the experience is going to be 85% off here for 449 It's still an early access. As far as I know, it's still fairly well supported. So you can go ahead and check it out. Game of Thrones, the Telltale series, fourteen ninety nine. I guess the best way of describing this is if you like Telltale titles, if that made sense. So in other words, The Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, or you're a fan of the TV show, then why not buy this? 
Tales from the Borderlands. This actually is on, if memory serves, and I'm probably going to be proved to be an idiot. No, I'm not. You can actually pick up uh, Tales of Borderlands also on GOG. So, there's that. The price is, I believe, the same. Train Simulator. If you like trains, maybe? I have no idea. The Witcher franchise. Um, don't buy it from here. Once again, Green Man Gaming. They have... If memory serves, let me just double check because I don't want to give you misinformation. Misinformation that makes me look a twit. Yeah, 20% off, 10% off would be for. Yeah, And the Witcher over here is $50 on Green Man Gaming and then you use a 10%, uh, sorry, 25% code, uh, 25% off code. So yeah, basically, Green Man Gaming, if you want to buy a cheap version of the Witcher 3, it's cheapest on GMG at the moment. So, you know. Pillars of Eternity, very, very, very good CRPG, you know, it's click-based RPG, very much in the old school, the Baldur's Gate. Um, I'm going to come to a bit of a an argument in a moment, but this is a very good title, 33% off. It's also about the same price on Green Man Gaming, so there's no difference in price as far as I can see, so you might as well just get it through Steam. Terraria. I think everyone knows about Terraria. I'd be shocked if a gamer does not bloody own Terraria at this point. Some have called it a 2D Minecraft. I think that's personally unfair. It's actually, at its heart, very different from Minecraft. I actually really like this game. I dislike Minecraft, so, you know, whatever. 249, 75% off, go for it. Dying Light, 25% off. This seems to be a Marmite, love it or hate it type of game. Not played it personally, if I'm tr if I'm truthful. 25% off makes it one of the more expensive titles in this sale. I'm not saying that to dissuade you. I'm simply saying that if you're uncertain, you might want to consider not getting it or do some research. I don't know. I, I haven't played it. Shadow of Mordor, very solid t title. There were some things which pissed me off about Warner Brothers, primarily to do with their embargoes and reviews and their, their review policies. Uh, basically, they were giving people um, codes, and they were actually not giving out codes to a lot of websites, actually, even big guys. They were not physically giving them out codes. They had to either buy the game or do strong arm tactics. And in some cases, Warner Brothers actually gave copyright strikes for you reviewing the game without permission. And then for those who gave, they gave the codes to, they would actually only, they would make um, they would only give you permission to upload the video once you had actually gone ahead and shown them the video first. And you would also have to say certain things, like mention about the various systems in the game. And basically, you're not reviewing it at that point. You're actually selling the game, which I think is inherently wrong. I, I believe that, you know, morally, it's, it's, it's completely and utterly just corrupt. Um, and I think that's a... To be totally honest, my personal opinion, I think it's pretty fucked up. Uh, but they've somewhat fixed their policies, so morally, I bought the game after that. I, I didn't buy it for quite a while because of that uh, same thing. I, I can't, I just couldn't morally um, buy the game, to be totally honest, or play it. But off of that, the sad thing is the game is actually really good. I... The best way of describing it, and it's not accurate, but I guess it's going to appeal to the most people, is think of Batman, cross it with Assassin's Creed, and stick it in um, Tolkien's universe, and that's pretty much what you've got. Very good, solid title. Miami. Hotline Miami. 33% off. Uh, this is the second one. It's the same on GOG, incidentally. Uh, yeah. If you like the first one, maybe. I would recommend playing the first one first, though. Age of Empires HD, I've said it before and I'll say it again, this is quite a harsh title to get into if you're into strategy, but a very good one, very solid, definitely recommend it. Castle Crashers, yep, go for it, for the price. Excellent 2D Brawler, uh, days, uh, 7 Days to Die, haven't played it but heard it's pretty good. Project Cars, heard this problems with the PC iteration, personally I hate driving, so I'm going to give a biased opinion, so I'm just not going to go any further. Outlast, pretty solid. Don't buy it on the PC, though, if you've got a PS4, because you can get it for free. And as much as it pains me to say it, 
there's not that much difference between the PS4 and PC versions because the graphics are not exactly super duper uh, intense unless you're going to go in and turn on for something like downsampling or you go in and hack the configs. Then again, I do prefer playing on keyboard and mouse, so maybe it's better to go on the PC. Anyway, Saints Row franchise, pretty solid games. The later ones become zanier. Not really much to say apart from that. Final Fantasy franchise is a freaking load of them. I'm not going to read all of them out, but I I think the most of them are solid. Um, Final Fantasy 7 and 8, of course, are classics. God, that I don't know how long ago it was since I completed 8. Uh, you've also got uh, 13 and 13 2, which are pretty cheap. For your FYI, they've actually been upgraded quite substantially graphically, so you might want to check that out. Yeah. God, there's so many games. Europa. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I've heard... It, it's... I don't know that much about it, but I have heard it's maybe quite an in-depth strategy title. Fallout franchise. I don't think I need to say much about this one. Isaac. The Binding of Isaac. Rebirth. This is a screwed up game, and I've actually heard people saying it's one of the more disturbing titles out there. It's kind of a dungeon exploring game, but you are basically playing the role of a baby. Um, and it's it's pretty messed up. I quite like it. We've covered it on the channel. Endless Legends, uh, another strategy game. Quite solid. Uh, it's a four-time strategy game, 4X. It's made by the people who made End of Space, and um, it's it's a pretty good game. If you're interested in those type of strategies, you might want to give it a shot. Call of Duty franchise, don't really need to describe it. Uh, I've gone through them so many times, and everyone knows what they are at this point. Banished, I don't know super amounts, if I'm totally honest. As far as I'm a st I understand, it's a city-building strategy title. Don't know much about it. I've heard it reviews okay, but that's about it. The Talos Principle... Don't know that much about this one. Um, it has gotten extremely good reviews, but I've never played it. So, yeah. It looks quite nice graphically. I don't know. Do a bit of Googling. God, there are so many games. Um, Age of Mythology. Solid, good solid old school RTS. Um, strategy game, rather. The Wolf Among Us, it's also on GOG. I don't know what's cheaper, to be totally honest. I think they'll work out to be about the same. Um, because I can't access GOG's uh, US prices at the moment. And I've got the US prices on Steam up at the moment. It's, it's a whole thing. Probably about the same. Which one would I go for? Eh. I'd probably buy it from GOG, just to say that you know, you're know you kind of supporting a small platform. But that's just me. Divinity Franchise, the best one here is uh, Divinity Original Sin, which is 33% off, which is going to make it 20 great British pounds. For some reason, I've got a really fucked up situation on my browser where US prices appear when I'm in the main page, but uh, American, but British prices, yeah, American prices on the main page, British prices on the uh, subsequent pages. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't have a problem recommending Divinity. It's I've heard the best way, I guess the best way to describe Divinity versus uh, Eternity, Pillars of Eternity. Pillars of Eternity is probably a slightly slower paced, less slightly more darker, and probably slightly more written, well written title. But Divinity has better combat, better graphics, and can be slightly more fun and open. Now, I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm saying that you might want to do some real Googling if you've only got the time or money to buy one of them. They are kind of similar-ish in how they play. There are differences. I'm not saying they're the same game. But just, you know, bear that in mind. Football Manager. I don't think I need to describe it. You know, it's the Eater of Souls if you're interested in British soccer. I'm not. The Long Dark, uh, 9.99. It scores really well. Good survival horror type of title. 50% off. Can't go much worse. Uh, so much better than that for the moment. The Banner Saga. Absolutely solid title. Very good. Very good strategy. Flight Simulator X. Steam Edition. Sure, if you like flight sims. Watch Dogs. It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, Ubisoft pissed off a lot of people. But aside from that. Grey Goo. I have no idea about, to be totally honest. I'm going to skip them. Uh, Child of Light. Very good game. Homeworld, 
yeah, pretty good if you're interested in space strategy. I know I'm skipping these really fast at the moment, but there are so many games, it's like, I'm going to be here until tomorrow. Uh, the Evil Within. Yeah, I have no qualms recommending The Evil Within. I actually think it was a really good game. Um, we've covered it. We've covered it yesterday. Uh, covered, covered it on release, for God's sake. You know, get the words out. Uh, I actually really like it. It's got some frustrating things regarding the AI, but apart from that, the crew... Personally, I'd avoid it from what I've heard. I don't like racing games anyway, but I've just heard it's kind of stale and stagnant. 50% off though, so I guess if you're interested. Eh? Assassin's Creed franchise, why not? If you are interested in buying one of them, I guess there's a way of doing it. Do remember that you still need to go through Uplay. Fable, anniversary... Uh, maybe. Not that great of a game, to be honest, when it was ported. The Anniversary Edition is not maybe that spectacular. Um, Metal Gear Solid, Ground Zeroes. I would say that this price is actually pretty good, considering the amount of content you get. It's... If you're just interested in completing the game real fast... Uh... It won't last you that long. If you're interested in exploring all of the nook and crannies, then it will last you longer. Uh, do, 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 do. Valkyria Chronicles. I know nothing about this game, if I'm totally honest. I've heard it's pretty good, but I know nothing about it to make any judgments other than to say it's a pretty good game from what I've heard, which is not very helpful to you. Company of Heroes. Yeah, scores very well. Classic games. I played the original Company of Heroes, but no other. Very good RTS. The Banishing of Ethan Carter. Excellent uh, story narrative type of exploration game. Very much recommend it. NBA 2K15. I guess. I know. I haven't played it. Space Engineers. I've heard is pretty good. Killing Floor 2. I guess the best way of describing this one would be a slightly more serious and a lot more bloody version of... Yeah, I guess that's a fair way of putting it. Left for Dead. Far Cry franchise. Some pretty good deals here. No qualms of recommending any of them. Tomb Raider franchise. Once again, very good deals on offer. The Metro franchise. Actually, there's some really good deals with the Metro franchise. Because you can go ahead and get the Redux. The bundle, incidentally. The bundle. I just want to re-emphasize that one more time. The bundle. 80% off. 679 To excellent. Really, really, really good. Tip-top. Single-player. Story-driven. FPS. So if that's your thing... You're sorted. Cooperative Mayhem with Payday 2. Yeah, why not? Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Yeah, sure. Very good. If you're interested in that, then now's a good chance to get into Counter-Strike. Borderlands Franchise, 55-67% to 67 off. Sure. Insurgency, know nothing about it. Mountain Blade, don't know that much. Cities, Skyline. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty good. Don't really know too much about it. It's, of course, the classic city-building simulation-y type of thing. I would recommend doing some more research. Elite Dangerous. Uh, Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous. Let me just double check it's the one. Yeah. It's basically yet another... In I just want to make sure it wasn't a different version of Elite. Which I thought it was for a second. This is... Once again... The option of basically... Taking to space. And basically living a secondary life. Um... There are some, it is massive, massively multiplayer, and, you know, you might like it, you might not. I would recommend doing some Googling. The only recommend, the only reason I say that is because it's quite hardcore, uh, and can put people off if they're just interested in, look at me, I'm flying around in an asteroid belt type of person. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, I'm just saying that I don't want you to go into it and then think, wow, this is a lot more in depth than what I, what I anticipated. Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. Fantastic game uh, if you're interested in the DBZ franchise. It's not as deep as I've said before. It's Virtual Fighter, but it's a pretty good fighting game. Why not get it if you're interested in the DBZ? Rise Son of Rome. I actually quite like this one. I know it's got slated immensely, but I quite like it. So 66% off. Why not? The Elder Scrolls franchise. Definitely get all of the DLC if you're going to be getting Skyrim. Multiple reasons include... The fact that it rocks, plus you can't actually use some of the mods without it. 
and we were even talking about some texture mods just for your FYI. Ori, the Blind Forest, heard it's pretty good. Aim is playing it currently on the channel. Go ahead and check it out. Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Oh, uh, God. Don't know much about this one, to be totally honest. It's basically a first-person action-y, slashy type of multiplayer game. If you've ever wanted to play that, then go for it. I don't know enough about it. I haven't played it, but I've heard it's really good. Sniper Elite Franchise. Yeah, yeah. I quite like Sniper Elite. There are some weaknesses in the series, but I think zombi uh, Nazi Zombies is actually kind of fun. Lords of the Fallen, the best way of describing this is it's a poorer, story-driven version of Dark Souls 2. So if you're interested in Dark Souls 2, you need a game for the, F for the moment. You don't mind a slightly weaker story, slightly weaker narrative, slightly weaker combat then Lords of the Fallen is yours. If you've not played those games, then go ahead and pick them up first. It's a bit odd, actually, because there is no... Uh, I actually genuinely thought that we'd see a Dark Souls 2 um, on sale. Apparently not. Galactic Civilizations, don't know enough about. Wasteland 2, don't know enough about. Dead Rising franchise. Dead Rising 3 is pretty good once they've patched it. Total War franchise, good solid RTSs. Hitman, no qualms recommending any of them. Gary's Mod, it's Gary's Mod, everyone knows what it is. Wolfenstein franchise. Uh, Wolfenstein franchise, I actually am a massive fan of the New Order. And also the Old Blood isn't quite as good as the New Order. But if you're looking for a add-on to an addition of the Wolfenstein series, then go ahead and pick it up. You've also, of course, got the older Wolfensteins as well, which are all classics and pretty good games in my opinion. Bioshock franchise, you can't go wrong with any of them. Age of Wonders, I've not actually played. Don't Starve, definitely get it because it also gives you access to the new, new iteration. Transistor is really good. It's basically a different take on Bastion. That's a crappy way to describe it. Very good RPG, however, at least in my opinion. Uh, action RPG, very good. H1Z1. Don't know much about this one in terms of I've not played it. Everyone knows what it's about, however, in terms of the basic gameplay. This one is one of those games I would never touch it simply because I just couldn't be bothered to deal with other people. You might want to check it out. Aliens Franchise. So, the best games here are Alien Isolation, um, which I'd definitely recommend. And Aliens vs. Predator. There's a couple of iterations of Alien vs. Predator, by the way. Um, Life is Strange, I don't know anything about. Dishonored, very good game. Armor Franchise, very good games. Lego franchise, I hate any of the Lego franchise with an absolute burning passion. Yeah, I can't, I, I just can't be non biased. I just hate the Lego games. Euro Truck Simulator, I guess if it's your thing. I personally hate simulation games, but that's just me. Well, those type of simulation games. This War of Mine is very, very, very dark. You are not playing as a soldier, you are not playing as a hero, you're basically playing as civilians who have to survive. You can starve to death, this is a very harsh game. It's very good, I would recommend it. 60% 60, 60 off. Uh, Naruto, pretty good. And that's all I know about, to be totally honest. You've also got yesterday's deals, but we've just gone through them. Uh, and that's it. Jesus, that was a freaking so many games, wasn't it? Now I'm going to go through a couple of my recommendations. These are my personal recommendations. These are not based on necessarily review scores. These are just what I think are good games to buy. I'm also not going to recommend everything because, quite frankly, you'll be broke. Um, and I'm also going to assume... I'm going for bang for buck here. So Final Fantasy franchise, definitely worth it. Um, GTA franchise, definitely worth it. The Witcher, as I said, worth it, but I'd get it through GOG. Pillars of Eternity and, and uh, Divinity, no qualms recommended either. It's really a toss-up, though, which one to get. I would personally recommend looking at a video for both. We've covered Divinity on the channel, but we haven't covered Pillars. Um... Do a bit of Googling on both. Look at some reviews. Figure out which one is more your thing. The Evil Within is just brainless to get, as is the Banner Saga. The Evil Within in particular is really good survival horror. The Tomb Raider, absolutely amazing. Far Cry, 
yeah, I, I could go ahead and recommend it. Aliens franchise, very good. And Elder Scrolls franchise, also really good. Don't Starve is pretty good to get as well. And Metro. And those are the ones that I'd recommend. And that's probably still going to cost you a ridiculous amount of money. But you can make your decisions based on your taste. I'm just simply saying what I think, what I would go for if I didn't own the games. But anyway, Jesus, so many games. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to do a roundup of the last sales. Um, I know that this video is kind of like real quick and I didn't tell you that much about each game. But you can just kind of do a bit of googling. I just wanted to tell you mostly like the best deals. Uh, tell you alternative deals, that type of thing. Hopefully you found it interesting. Oh, and before I forget, GOG sale is on for 20 more hours. I won't go through them because frankly most of them are really old games. So most people probably know about them. Uh, there are some pretty excellent deals on. As I said, you've got the Borderlands one. You've got Wolf Among Us, uh, which is definitely worth it. The Walking Dead as well. Uh, Bullfrog deals are pretty sweet. Uh, Darksiders as well. You've got some games there. Uh, a couple of others as well, which I won't go through all of them. So I'll be here until Christmas. But I think that's... A oh, and if you happen to miss out on the older Witcher, you can get like Witcher 2 for like one ninety nine, And the original Witcher for like a pound. So, you know, there's that. Also a good deal on Lichden Battle Mage, which is a pretty nice game. And also a really good deal on Legend of Grim Grimrock 2. Which, for, which is three ninety nine, and the first Legends of Grim Rock is actually one forty nine, and you can also get Hotline Miami for seventy four percent off, and Hotline Miami two for twenty five percent off, which basically makes it pretty much the same price. Also, you can get uh, Chronicles of Riddick: Assault and Dark Athena, which is a top game uh, for one ninety nine as well. I think that's everything. I could be here until Christmas, as I said, and go through all these games, but hopefully you've at least got an understanding of at least something you want to buy. Anyway, I'm going to leave it to it. I'm going to rest my voice before I die. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.